Good morning, everybody. I got my coffee. I got my vape. Let's talk a little. Last week, we talked about going to the future and visiting your future self to use your future self as a role model and to give you benchmarks that you can guide yourself with. Well, today, we're going to talk about going to the past and visiting your past self. I know, pretty heavy stuff. We better take a sip. So this is going to be a little bit different for a little bit different reasons. You can use this for business development, but this technique can also be used for personal use. One thing is it takes a lot of visualization. So if you're not good at visualization, I would suggest getting good at it. Practice that. This is going to help you gauge or remind you of your progress from a certain point, especially if you're going through something right now that you've already gone before. I have a bad habit of forgetting the lessons that I learned. And if I don't have somebody to remind me, then I will keep making the same mistakes over and over and over. So this really has sped up my ability to move forward. This will also clean out all that crap in your psychological closet that you collected when you were going through whatever challenge that you were going through in the past. All the fears, all the anger, all the whatever. It leaves a residue inside you. It leaves a residue in your mindset. And it really helps to clean that out. I know when I discovered this, this was a caveat that I hadn't expected. And it really, really helps. It makes you feel well clean and refreshed and able to attack the challenge that you have right now from a fresh perspective without all those past fears that don't really relate to what's going on right now. This can also be used for therapy, but I'm going to say through this process, if you reach a point where you can't get past it and it brings up too much turmoil, I would suggest considering reaching out to somebody else, somebody that you trust, or maybe even a professional. This isn't meant to do the inner child work that was big in the 70s, and I think it's pretty big right now. That's not faulting that. That was very good therapy. But this isn't meant to give you actual therapy. This is actually meant to help you to be more confident and to be able to move ahead with the challenges that you have. So again, visualization is the key. This is going to sound kind of new agey and touchy-feely, but you know this really works. Put yourself in a quiet place. Find a quiet room. If there's other people in the house, let them know that you're not to be disturbed. Get someplace where you're not going to be bothered. Turn off all the radios. Lay down if that's going to make you feel comfortable. Go ahead and pee and get yourself something to drink. You don't want to be disturbed while you're doing this. You're not going to die if you are, but it's going to break your concentration. It's going to break the momentum of what you're doing. So here's what you do. Just like visiting your future you, you're going to visualize yourself going back to a time that you were experiencing some challenge. This is especially helpful if you were experiencing a challenge that you are experiencing right now and you have doubt. So sit down, have coffee with your past you, and ask them some questions. Ask them to describe to you what they were experiencing at that time. I know you've already been through it, so you know what happened, but this kind of helps you to take an outside perspective, which is very important because you don't want to react to things with the same emotions that you had then, or you're not going to be helping yourself out at all. If you do react emotionally, what I found that helps is to replace that reaction with, hmm, isn't that interesting? It sounds simple, but when you incorporate that, that really, really helps. Now, as you're listening to how past you is describing what's happening, look at them and listen to how they're describing things. Pay attention to their thought process, the way they're describing things, their emotions, their confidence, and try to remember the habits that they are accustomed to at that time. Maybe tag along with them through this experience, all through the process of what decisions they made, what new challenges came up. If they reached out to outside sources, if they got new information, what worked, what didn't work, what new skills they gained, and new mindset throughout the process. You want to remember the mindset before, after, and throughout this whole entire process. That is key. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be comparing this later to your processes now. This process really helps the most the greater time that has passed in between that challenge and where you are now. And the biggest reason for that is your life experiences, where you are right now. You have better perspective on what you went through then. 
Hindsight is 2020. And at that time, you didn't have hindsight. But guess what? You're going to give your past self that gift of the hindsight. Be thinking throughout this, watching them and listening to them and going through this challenge with them. What could they have done better? What could they have done differently? What could they have tweaked? And all along the way, you've got to forgive yourself for making those mistakes. That's a big one for me. I am really, really hard on myself. It's really difficult for me to forgive myself for mistakes that I've made. I think other people are fallible. I think I should be Superman. And Superman's going to take a sip. Let's do it. Okay, so you've gone through a review through your past self explaining the situation from the beginning all through the process. You've watched as an outside perspective of the things that they went through and the decisions that they made, what they could have done differently, and you've reevaluated that. Now you're at the end of that, or you may be at an impasse, at a place that your past self couldn't go around, over, or through. So if that challenge ended with a win, even if it happened way, way down the road, share the past life lessons that you've learned, share the future with them, that's huge. Let them know that, hey, everything's gonna work out, and guess what? This is what you're gonna become. You're gonna become stronger through this. This is gonna lead you to this, this, and this, which is gonna lead you to some amazing things. Reassure them that everything is gonna work out and that they're doing the best that they can do with the tools and knowledge that they have at the moment. And you know what? Give them a big hug. I know that sounds hokey, but it, it really helps. It really comforts. Now take those lessons and come back to the challenges you're facing right now and reevaluate what you're doing, remembering the lessons that you've learned. Okay, let's talk about the impasse. If past self hit that wall that they couldn't get past, they didn't learn the lesson, or they made mistakes that kept the situation from working out at the moment. I've learned in my past, I'm sure you have as well, if the lessons aren't learned, they come back to you. And what I found is they come back to me harder and with a lot more force. <laughs> Boy, these coffees would fill a thirsty worker and think, let's just take a sip. Okay, so we're at the impasse. This is really, really critical point because I have also found that when those lessons come back to me, eventually I'm going to learn them. If I haven't, that might move into where I'm gonna reach out to somebody else because I don't have the answer. If I have, I spend more time sharing with past Phil where I'm come, the lessons that I've learned, where this situation is gonna to lead to, and again, that they're doing the best that they can do with the tools and information they have at the moment, and it's gonna all work out eventually. If I don't have the answers and I can't help past Phil, then as I said, I reach out to somebody that I trust, not just anybody, I reach out to somebody that I trust, whether that's somebody who's been through this kind of experience, a professional, People who you know have fruit on the tree have succeeded with this. And I'm going to say it again, maybe your mentor, and you discuss it with them. You let them be a sounding board for you. Let them provide suggestions from their own experience, but mostly let them listen. It really helps sometimes, and sometimes it's vital that you have somebody else outside of your head that you discuss with these things. And then once you've come up with some answers, then you can go back to your past self and you're going to do more good. Well, this coffee with Phil has been a really, really short one. And I thought about not putting it out just because I hate waiting for videos and they're just really quick. I feel kind of like I've been cheated, but I feel like this content is important. And I didn't want to just fluff it out. I could probably expand this as you guys already can tell. I'm, I'm a talker. I can really draw this out, but I, I don't see a point in doing that. So I thought I might share a little bit of where I am to let you know where I'm coming from. As I said many times, I don't like to share struggles unless there's a win attached. But I think it's important for me to be able to express where I am right now. I often doubt myself putting these things out. I think, who am I to give any kind of advice or share any kind of information like this with anybody? Because right now, I don't feel like I have a lot of fruit on the tree. Back at the end of last year, went through something that quite a few people go through with an aging parent that just completely derailed my business. All of my businesses, everything I was doing, completely killed all the momentum. And it's been very difficult to get that back. I would not change the experience at all or the things that I've gotten from it or what I could do for my mom. 
because I love her and she has done so much for me in my life. But that is a challenge that I'm going through right now. I also have chronic pain that I have to deal with that sometimes leads to brain fog. A lot of times really limits the energy I have to be able to accomplish things. I have good days, I have bad days. And on the good days, I have to start my momentum from the very beginning and it could be very discouraging if I let it. Also, I'm dealing with challenges that I have had my whole entire life. Bad vision, my hands shake, which causes problems with holding cameras steady. I have to use tripods and things like that that just add extra steps to the processes that I need to take in my business. So the whole point in all that is that I am going through the battle right now. I'm going through the struggle. I know a lot of you are too. That may be the reason why you were attracted to these coffees with Phil. The reason why I've been choosing these topics is because these are the things that I have learned in the past from other people's experience and their struggles. And I have incorporated in the past and had great success and I am using them now. And those are the things that are going to make this experience a win. I have a very blessed life. I have an amazing life. I wouldn't change it at all. Any aspect of it, including the struggles. I love it. I love life. But I'm not coming to you from somebody who has everything together, all the freedom and tree. I've completed success and I've done it so you can do it. I'm sharing my experience in the battlefield where I know you are also. In the and if my experience of how I'm going through this helps you the way that other people's experience has helped me and continues to help me, then it's of some value and I am blessed to be able to share it. You just got to remember that no challenge comes to you that is meant to harm you. It is only meant to make you greater or see your greatness. So enough said about that. Let's take another sip. Well, if you're new to my channel, please look around, check out my other videos, see if there's anything that you like, something that's entertaining or adds value to you. And if you can think of somebody else that might also enjoy it, please think about sharing with them. Also subscribe, hit the ringy dingy thing so you're notified the next time that I make a video. Hit the like or dislike button. Let me know what you think. Please comment. If there's anything that I say that goes against the grain with you, you know what? Give it to me with both barrels. Try not to be abusive, but you know what? I don't have all the answers. I just share my experiences with you. And with that said, no matter what tune that life plays you, always find your groove. Thanks for hanging out with me this time, and I'll see you next week.